Makaya's mom, Katina, is our oldest whale. She's 46 years old. Katina is also the matriarch, or the leader of our pod. Now, here at SeaWorld, our training techniques create a language between us and the whales. It's a language of learning. Through positive reinforcement, encouragement, commitment, and care, the whales learn to trust us, and they even take an active role in their own health care. Some of the very first behaviors we teach the whales early on are our husbandry or health care behaviors. And one of the very first ones, Makai is going to come over and demonstrate. We're going to ask him to roll over the ventral, or upside down, and present his tail most calmly in our lap. You're going to see that this posture will give us an excellent view of Makai's entire underbody. But even more importantly, it gives our veterinarian staff access to the vein that runs on the underside of Makayo's tail for us. <laughs> Once a month, our veterinarian staff come in, and they are able to obtain a voluntary blood sample right from his tail for us. Just like you or I go to the doctor for our physical once a year, and we present our art to get blood, well, these guys get their physicals once a month. Now, another very important husbandry or healthcare behavior that we teach the whales very early on is to obtain a weight. For the same reason why you ride step on a scale at home or step on a scale at the doctor's office, we have a giant killer whale size scale located in our back pool. We've taught the whales to slide their bodies up onto the scale. You're going to notice that the part of his body from his dorsal vein to his tail flukes is still in the water. That posture would give us an accurate reading of his weight. So as you're going to see, in order to solve this problem, we simply taught our whales to lift their tails up and out of the water. And just like that, we're able to make sure that our younger whales like Makaya are growing and older whales like Katina are maintaining a healthy weight. And the care isn't just physical. Mental stimulation and play are vital, and we surprise and engage with our whales at every opportunity. Play is how killer whales teach their young to hunt, and for the adults, play is important too. It seems that they just enjoy having fun. Making time for play is an important part of life for killer whales and for us. Hey everyone, I'm down here on the left hand side of the stadium. Killer whales are so much observation, mimicry, and play. And we're going to put those skills to the test. Are you guys ready to play a game? Yeah. Alright, well, Justin and Drew are on their way over. In just a second, you guys are going to ask me for what we call a pep wave. You're going to go ahead and stand up. And on the count of three, when Drew is looking at you, you're going to put your hands high in the air and give him a great big wave. Here we go. One, two, three, wave.
we hold the future of killer whales and the oceans in our hands. Killer whales continue to surprise and amaze us. They're the perfect ambassador for the ocean, limitless, connected, powerful, but still vulnerable. Be inspired. We can make a difference. The ocean needs our help, and that seems overwhelming. But together, we can make it happen. There's so much to learn. So much to protect. So much to explore. The killer whale story is still being written. And there are simple things we all can do to make a difference. All it takes is one. One choice. One cause and that. One ripple that can grow and grow and change. Together, we've got this. Thank you.